Speaking of the roads, if you drive our region's roads and bridges, you know cracked concrete and rusted steel are not hard to find. Pennsylvania alone has more than $7 billion worth of bridge construction projects in the works or on the schedule. That may sound like a lot of money, but investigative reporter Mitch Blocker found it's not going to be nearly enough. Wood blocks wedged under the Market Street Bridge in Marcus Hook first caught our eye back in 2015. They noticed the decaying structure up there with the boards stacked up underneath. Eric Schaefer emailed us pictures concerned about the SEPTA and Amtrak trains below. We met Schaefer back in Marcus Hook. I'm, I'm blown away. Where today, a brand new bridge stands. I just can't believe how beautiful this bridge is and, and the stairways. Uh, it's just an amazing job that they did. According to PennDOT, the price tag topped $20 million. It took nearly three years to build. Time and cost usually go hand in hand. Yeah. The engineers behind the Marcus Hook Bridge and hundreds of others are designing new bridges to last a century. It's a continuous motion. Our job is never is never over. We watched work on vast stretches of I-95 north of Philadelphia and in Pottstown on what will be a brand new West King Street Bridge. These are among the 1,460 active or planned bridge repair or replacement projects across Pennsylvania. PennDOT expects them to cost more than $7.2 billion. The problem is that only fixes about a third of the bridges with defects in their deck or support structure. There are more than 4,200 of them. If you look across the country, we've got a backlog of bridge needs of 125 billion dollars. The American Society of Civil Engineers believes poor roads and bridges will cost New Jersey drivers an extra $713 a year in car repairs and traffic delays. They estimate it will cost Delaware drivers an extra $456 a year. In Pennsylvania, they think congestion and rough bridge decks add up to $3.7 billion in wasted time and fuel. So many other countries are investing in their infrastructure and we've have infrastructure that's basically from the 50s and the 60s. Bridges in Philadelphia and its surrounding counties are almost always older than that. The Falcroft Avenue Bridge in Sharon Hill was built in 1902. The City Avenue Bridge carrying traffic over the Septa line has stood here since 1910. Today, nets hang under the road deck, catching chunks of concrete as it slowly crumbles. Both bridges are on PennDOT's rehab or replacement list, but paying for them is another problem. You're talking a huge loss by not doing anything. And I mean, if you look at the president's bill, if it's two or three trillion dollars, it's still a lot less than the 10 trillion in gross domestic product we're going to lose over that period of time. And of course, we all know that President Biden and Congress, they're working out a multi-trillion dollar infrastructure bill. At this point, we have no idea how much money could go to repair bridges like this one, the City Avenue Bridge over the Bala Septa line, or how much money each individual state could get. Of course, it's pretty clear, guys, there, there's a lot of need out there, especially in our region. Scary to see the condition of that bridge behind you, Mitch. Hey, do we know that magic number, how much money it would take to fix all the bridges that need repair or replacement, Mitch? Well, I think, needless to say, it's going to be a lot, but no, it, it, there's a couple of factors, including and, and mostly the timing of when any one bridge replacement project happens and when the materials for that bridge are purchased, and also the timeline of how long it takes to repair the bridge. Time, of course, uh, is, is money. One of the other things we're keeping an eye on, though, Jim, are the 33 bridges in Philadelphia and its five-county surrounding region that are closed. Firefighters, paramedics, first responders, they're, they're very concerned about these closed bridges and what they could do to response times. There's more on the line here than taxes, than traffic, and that's our story for you tonight at 11.